Well, hi to everyone. Um, various people have asked us, uh, could we do a George Muller quiz? So this is the great George Muller quiz. So you might want to get a pen and paper. You don't need to write anything down, but I need you to record your scores, OK? Um, and if you're in a household, if you're in a family, you can, we need you to do it together. Uh, the whole family working together and then we'll see what people's scores are household by household afterwards if you want to you could put them up on the YouTube chat we're going to go through this at a pace there's only one rule you're not allowed to look things up on Google but I'm hoping you won't have time because we're going to go through this quite quick I'll give you just a few seconds to come up with each answer so first question what country did George Muller come from And the answer is Germany, or you might have said Prussia. Both are correct. As a teenager, George Muller stayed with his friends in various hotels um, and then left them um, without doing what? Without paying the bill. When George Muller, question three, was at university, he went to a meeting um, that was to change his whole life. What kind of a meeting was it? It was a prayer meeting. After some time praying, question four, uh, George Muller was in Germany and he felt called to go abroad and which British city did he feel he should go to? And the answer is London. Question five. Then something not very good happened to him. What was that? He got sick. He went to Tynmouth to recover and he made a great friend there. What was his friend called? Henry Crake. We'll take Crake or Brother Crake. We'll take almost anything as an answer for that one. Um, question seven. What was the name of George Muller's first wife? What was her first name? Her name was Mary. What British city did Muller then settle in? Bristol. He settled in Bristol. What was the name of the chapel that was there in Bristol? The answer is Bethesda, Bethesda, old Bible name. Question 10. In what street did Muller set up his first orphanage? Wilson Street. And who did he take first, boys or girls? He took girls. Question 12. Why did they have to move from Wilson Street? Because the neighbours were complaining. Question 13. Where did he then buy land? On the outskirts of Bristol and Ashley Down. Question 14. How many orphan houses did he ultimately build on Ashley Down? Five. He built five orphan houses. Question 15. How did he get money for those orphan houses? He prayed. He prayed and asked God for it. Or you might have said people gave it to him and that would also be correct. OK. Question 16. How many children did he look after at any one time in the end up on Ashley Down? Two thousand is the answer. Question seventeen: For breakfast one morning, there was no breakfast. What happened next? Two things. So the baker baked extra bread for them, didn't he? he woke up early, and the milk cart broke down outside just at breakfast time, and they gave them free milk. Question 18. In 1860, something very wonderful happened in the orphanage and right out across the whole of the UK. Right 
revival came, a great turning back to God. Question 19, what did George Muller write at the end of every year? He wrote an account of what had happened. He wrote a narrative or he wrote a journal or a report. Any of those are the right answer. 20, we're nearly there now. He went on a world tour preaching because he'd been invited. How many countries did he go to? Hard one, this. How many countries did he go to? He went to 30 countries. When he was on that tour, he was travelling in a boat where fog came down and he prayed and the fog lifted. Very hard one, this. What was the name of the boat? The Sardinia, the Sardinia. 22, where did Muller live for the last few years of his life? He lived in the orphan house, orphan house number two, but orphan house will do. Question number 23, how old was George Muller when he died? He was 92 years old although he was in his 93rd year, so we'll take either of those. 24, does the George Muller work still continue today long after he died? Yes or no? And then the final question, to question 25, um, what, did, what was put into the children's hands when they left? Something went into either hand. What were the two things that were put into their hands when they left the orphanages? One was a coin and one was a Bible. Brilliant. I'd love to know how you scored on that or whether anyone got them all right. So maybe put your scores up on YouTube or, or let us know. Let us know how you got on. Brilliant. Well done.